Hello everybody, so what I have here is an original Nintendo DS and today I'm going to be talking about slot 2 of the console and as you can see, slot 2 can provide backwards compatibility for Game Boy Advance games on the DS. And as, ta-da, you can see, ta as you can see, Game Boy Advance games run perfectly on the DS using physical Game Boy Advance cartridges. However, Game Boy or Game Boy Color cartridges do not fit in there. This is because of the fact that when I try to insert it in there, it can't go in all the way. And can you see the differences between the Game Boy Advance cartridge and the original Game Boy cartridge? Well, the Game Boy Advance cartridge has two notches cut out so that it can slide into the slot 2 of the DS perfectly, whereas the original Game Boy cartridge does not have support does not have the two notches cut out so when you try fitting the Game Boy cartridge in there it's not gonna go in all the way and besides the Nintendo DS the Game Boy Micro or the DS Lite do not support backwards compatibility for Game Boy or Game Boy Color games due to the processor not being present in the DS However, thankfully, if you own a flash cartridge, such as an R4 cartridge for the DS, you can actually play Game Boy or Game Boy Color games on there through the emulation. And as you can see here, I am running Donkey Kong 94 on there, and Game Boy or Game Boy Color games through emulation on the R4 cartridge works. So in this video, I am going to modify slot 2 of the DS cartridge so that when I insert a Game Boy or Game Boy Color cartridge in there, it's going to sit in there perfectly. Even though this DS or the Game Boy Micro or the DS Lite do not have backwards compatibility support for Game Boy or Game Boy Color games. And to actually play Game Boy or Game Boy Color games on the DS, you would have to use a flash card which is a DS flash card, such as R4 or the Game Boy Advance flash card. And so I will modify slot 2 of the DS slot, which is meant to be for Game Boy Advance games, even though I'm going to try to make Game Boy, Game Boy Color games sit in there fine by removing the two notches that block the ability to slide in Game Boy or Game Boy Color cartridges. Okay, so now that I have this Nintendo DS apart, you can see the two notches on each side of slot 2. And as mentioned before, Game Boy Advance games fit in there perfectly, while the, the original Game Boy Game Boy Color cartridges do not. This is because of these two notches on each side. So I am going to be removing both of those notches right here. And the tool that I am going to be using is flush cutters. And while I am going to be careful not to ruin this slot 2 of the DS, I'm going to take my time. So, I got my handy dandy flush cutters out and I'm going to break off the two notches on each side. So, this is the right side. I got one notch removed. And now the other will be removed. Now. As you can see, I'm taking my time when doing this because I don't want to ruin the slot 2 of the cartridge that slot 2 wouldn't really work anymore on there. So let me try test fitting the Game Boy cartridge now to see if it fits in there. Yes, it does, almost, but I want to remove a little more plastic of the removal of the notches on each side. So I'm going to be using a craft knife, and I will carefully scrape away the plastic, and taking my time when doing so. I used the craft knife just now and I removed some of the plastic off of the notches without ruining it.
So let me test the Game Boy cartridge, see if it really fits in there now. And yes, it does technically fit. So before I actually test it to make sure the DS still works, I am going to be inserting a Game Boy Advance game in this DS. And just to make sure I didn't ruin slot two of the DS and that Game Boy Advance games will still work perfectly fine on there. And as you can see, Game Boy Advance games run perfectly fine after I have modified slot 2 of the DS so that when I try to insert Game Boy or Game Boy Color cartridges, they fit in there. And as you can see, they fit in there now. However, even though the DS does not... Or even though I cut off the notches so that the Game Boy original cartridge can fit in there, as mentioned before, this the Nintendo DS Game Boy Micro or Nintendo DS Lite do not support backwards compatibility for Game Boy or Game Boy Color cartridges due to the fact that the processor made for running Game Boy or Game Boy Color games is absent on the motherboard. So I am going to reassemble this DS and I'll show you what I mean by when I use this Game Boy or Game Boy Color cartridge and an R4 card to make it look like I'm really running Game Boy or Game Boy Color games on the CS, but it's just a prank. Okay, so I have this Nintendo DS on and I have the Game Boy original cartridge in slot 2. And as you can see, there is no game pack inserted. This really is because, once again... The Nintendo DS cannot support backwards compatibility for Game Boy or Game Boy Color games. And only Game Boy Advance games work on slot 2 for backwards compatibility. So as you can see here, I have Donkey Kong 94 for the original Game Boy cartridge inserted into slot 2 of the DS. And it works. I'm just kidding. I am using an R4 flash cartridge to run Game Boy or Game Boy Color games through emulation instead because, once again, the DS cannot support backwards compatibility for Game Boy or Game Boy Color games. And the reason I was modifying slot 2 of the DS cartridge slot is that I want to prank viewers by seeing that Game Boy or Game Boy Color games actually do work on the DS. But once again, I'm using an R4 flash cartridge to run Game Boy or Game Boy Color games through the emulation. As you can see here, I have a Game Boy Advance game running on this DS, and again, it works perfectly fine after I have modified Slot 2 to make Game Boy or Game Boy Color games fit in there, just as a prank to, yeah, um, again, Game Boy Advance games run perfectly fine on the DS. And again, this is Sonic the Hedgehog here. So, I might as well end this video. If you like this video, why don't you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for future content. And as always, thank you for watching. Goodbye. A bonus clip for this video. Um, the reason why I have this battery cover off this DS, um, I am going to be installing the normal version of Flash Me, which removes the health and safety screen. And as you can see, I have installed the stealth variant for Flash Me, which retains the health and safety screen. So I am going to go to Flash Me, which is V8A Flash Me, the normal version and not the stealth version. And I am going to be flashing this DS off camera so that the next time I turn this DS on, I have removed the health and safety screen. Now that I have installed the normal version of Flash Me, when I turn this DS on, I have successfully removed the health and safety screen.